Today I am going to show you how to make amazing ice cocoa in smaller cup sizes. If you would like to help this channel, there's no better way than to click that like button, also leave a comment. Let's take a look at the ingredients. Again, we are going to use dark chocolate or cocoa, the unsweetened one, and also the one that is used for beverages. We need sweetened condensed milk, we need evaporated milk, any brand will do. Now, how good your chocolate or iced cocoa will become depends on the ingredients that you use. So make sure you select the good one. You might have to try a few brands and then decide which one tastes better for you. We need water and we also need crushed ice. I would suggest to use crushed ice because when you pour your thick chocolate fudge on top of the drink, it will stay on top and also it will make it the water for your drink. Okay, let's start by making our chocolate mix. First, we need 75 grams of our dark chocolate powder. Add hot water. Add it slowly, so I have here two ounces or 60 milliliters. I'm starting with half of that. Stir to combine. We just want it to be a little bit dissolved, so I'm going to put the rest there. Add one can or about 300 grams of my sweetened condensed milk. Absolutely a lot of condensed milk there. Make sure you scrape everything out of your can as well. So let me just do that. Not for the squeamish, but this is absolutely delicious. What we are creating here is like, it's a chocolate fudge. Okay, so now it's time to mix them together. Stir your mixture. It doesn't have to be completely dissolved. You'd like it to be a little bit lumpy, but not powdery. Okay, you'd like some lumps in there. Make sure it is completely combined together. For those that are wanting to make a batch and keep them refrigerated, you can refrigerate this up to about a week, but then beware that the mixture will thicken if you keep it refrigerated. So I would say make it as and when you need it. So keep stirring until you don't see any more powder there. Even if you see some lumps, that is perfectly fine so that when you take your drink, you can bite into some pieces. I'm just going to add a little bit of evaporated milk. Well, when I say the mixture can be lumpy, it doesn't mean that there are chocolate powders still visible. All done, chocolate fudge topping for our amazing ice cocoa. We are ready to prepare our drinks. Now I'm going to show you that for the mixture that we made, we are going to separate them into six cups. Okay, and just for consistency, we are going to measure our evaporated milk. I'm going to put two ounces of evaporated milk into each one of the glasses. Two. If you have a cue, then you can simply make an estimate, but um, to make it more consistent, you can measure it. Now I'm going to put my chocolate mix on each of the glasses. Now, just to make sure it's consistent, I'm going to measure it. Sixty to seventy-five grams of my chocolate mix. Okay, that's one. Two. 
For the next three cups, assuming you don't have a scale, we are going to use a measuring cup. Make sure you get everything out of your spatula. If you have a measuring cup, this is equivalent to about 60 grams. So I'm just going to scoop up here and then pour it into my cup here. That should be about 75 grams as well if it is heaping. Okay, and then next. Make it heaping because this cup is only 60 ml or 60 grams. Do not use any more than one measuring gadget because you don't want to leave like this. As you can see, there's a lot left there. You can either scoop this up and make sure that they all get into your drink. Okay, so, so many measuring gadgets and a lot are left in your spoon or your measuring cup. And our final drink. So again, if you are lucky, you can stretch what you have to about seven cups because there's still some more left here. You just have to scrape it. You can use this to mix your next mixture so you keep making new batches using the same bowl or pot in my case and then you don't throw anything away. Okay, so now we have six cups here of 12 ounces for one batch. Well, there you go, amazing ice cocoa in 12 ounces cup. So now you can sell this for one US dollars or in Thailand, it will be about 30 baht. In the Philippines, it will be about 50 pesos. And I'm sure you will get a lot of takers. When you serve this, I would suggest that you serve it with a spoon at the bottom so that um, people can actually try the chocolate. Mm, that is delicious. I wish I could have it every day, but I only make it when I have to show them to you. Well, I think this is the perfect size, 12 ounces. Not only can you sell it cheaper, you can also finish one cup in one sitting. Okay, now it's the moment of truth to try the drink itself. Mm. It is amazing. Amazing ice cocoa following grandma's ice cocoa recipe by Chow. Once again, to summarize, all you have to do is to fill your cup with three quarters of crushed ice, and then you put your evaporated milk or any milk of choice, 60 to 75 milliliters, and then about 80 grams of your thick chocolate mixture. Perfect, amazing ice cocoa. Don't forget to check out my books, All Things Milk Tea, details on how to order in the description box below. I'll see you again for more of these video tutorials. In the meantime, take care, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.